uh hi everyone so today i will discuss about the java components patching using the telnet tool so normally we can do with the sum tool or if one or two patches we can also do with the so telnet tool telnet is the so one of the inbuilt or some package we have to install at operating system level so if it is the linux so then so then we need to if it is the linux system then telnet package we have to telnet rpm package so we have to install it so if it is the windows then we have to so enable the telnet feature we have to enable the telnet feature here so now i will tell you how to enable the telnet feature in the windows level here so you need to go to the server manager in the server manager so just add roles and features here add roles and features here just click on the next button so next button so next button so here in the features bar in the features tab if you scroll down so there is a option use the telnet telnet client so select this one click on the install your telnet will be installed so once it is installed the telnet just open the command prompt mode in the administrator mode or normal mode it will work just open as a administrator mode in the command prompt here just you can type like telnet localhost telnet localhost 5 instance number 08 is the port number for the telnet here right so once it will connect to the telnet it will ask the username just enter the username here then the password is so you can enter the respective password here then it is connected to the telnet here right so now let's do the one of the component patching here how to do the components patching here using the telnet right so here first of all let's take the any one of the component here so here i will take the example so ume so ume is the current version here so you can see the current version of the ume is 750 sp22 patch level 2 right sp22 and patch level 2 so and so this is the version here right so now i would like to patch this to the so i would like to patch this to the and 28 patch level means sps patching to 22 to 28 now see the current version this is the current version we have here right now i would like to change this version to the i would like to upgrade this version to the so 28 sps 28 okay so in this case i have downloaded the so patch i have downloaded the patch from the service marketplace in the maintenance service marketplace in the patches download section so then after that place the patch here connect to the telnet all right just click on the add deploy option here so just click on the add deploy add deploy so this is the command we have to use it here then so we need to enter the deploy space and the path of the file name this file name this path we have to enter it let's take the so let me take it here in the one notepad okay so we have to on deploy error equals to stop suppose if any error the deployment will be stopped like that i am passing the argument here okay so here just copy this command just copy this command just go to the here in the deploy option you can paste it here right just click on the so just click on the enter button just click on the enter button so then you can see the the deployment is getting started here the deployment is getting started here so the component which i am doing the, is the ume ume component one of the component in the here so i am just doing the component update here so deployment started then i connect so deployment is started then the summary is the success here the it's done it's done so scs one sca one sca contains sdas inside of the sca contains the if you extract you will get the sdas the status is successful here the status is successful here so now we can check the version here just you can just refresh the version then you see the the component version change to the 28 patch level now 
right 28 patch level here some components it's required the restart that will be restarted some components is not required the restart so so now one component have updated here so like that any component we can take it out we can patch it out patch it out here so if it is a multiple components we can make a one list deployment list then we can write the one one in the we can write into the one script and we can execute it as well so so telnet is the one of the inbuilt tool so inbuilt option for the java systems so you can use the telnet for patching the your java components java components we can use it here right so this is the telnet tool here okay so this is the path so first of all once you connect to the telnet we need to add deploy and deploy space the path the patch name and the argument we have to pass it then you can if you enter it that will be completed very soon here one component so this is about the how to update the java components using the telnet tool thank you